All right, what we have here is a pretty messy and kind of complicated uh, algebra, um, not algebra, the pre-algebra one, arithmetic. So let's take care of this one. This is a messy part. It's a fraction over fraction. So let's put it on the side and let's take a look at what do we do over a fraction that's stacked on top of each other. Okay. So for this case, what you do is you keep the top, which is 4 over 3, and you flip the bottom. Okay. I always tell my students, think of the flip the bottom as wear a flipper. Right? You wear a flipper on the bottom. This is your flipper. So you flip it. And this one, then you have is 20 over 9. Okay, so let's put out 20 over 9 over here. 20 over 9. That's a pretty easy. And then here, you have a common factor of 5. So divided by 5, then becomes 1. Divided by 5, this becomes 3. Actually, it might be better we put it on the side of here so you can see it better. 5 over 6 times 2 over 15. Okay, so there's a common of three, uh, 5 here. So 1 and 3 left. There's a 1 left and there's 3. So the answer is 1 over 9. Okay. So far, so good. And then now we need a common denominator. The common denominator is a number that covers everything for this one. So if I want to make this one a 9, I need to do a 3 times 3, and the top become a 6. The rest of the stuff is already 9, so I'm going to add them together. I have a 21 over here, so I have a 27 all together, which happened to be a pretty number, which is really a 3, right? Have a confident day.